to yet another walk-off home run for you. Get up to bat that inning. What were you like looking to do? I really just tried to get on base because I know we just need a one run. I got that piece as a homer, so I got to enjoy it now. You had the night off last night. Earlier today, I saw you in the cage working with Don Mattingly. What were you working on? We really tried to put the ball in the air because I hit too many ground ball the last few games. So that's working today. After the first April to settle down, what was the game plan against this Reds lineup? Uh, you know, just uh, attack the zone, be me. Uh, and that's what Alfaro, um, you know, me and him talked about it. So uh, just worked with my, uh, my two seam in and out of the plate and, you know, have my defense work behind me. How comfortable did you feel with Alfaro behind the plate tonight? Uh, very good. Uh, you know, the, he was called my first outing. So um, I was comfortable with him. He's comfortable with me. He knows my stuff. And, uh, you know, just it worked out. What were you working on in between that first outing and this one? Uh, you know, I slowed, uh, slowed my delivery down a lot um, for command reasons. And this is just give you seven innings of didn't allow an earned run. Yeah, it just shows that uh, um, I, I guess I belong here, you know. Uh, my stuff plays, and uh, it's, it's really good to see that. I mean, you talk about this opportunity. You're probably headed up here next week anyway. This opportunity comes a little faster. Just how do you approach that to kind of seize this moment and step up? Yeah, just be ready for the moment, you know. Um, they can call your name at any time. So, uh, you know, just just be done and, and, and the miners working on my craft. And when I get the call, you know, uh, do me and do my job. What was it like watching Harold's walk off? Oh, it was unreal, unreal. You know, um, big hit by uh, Harold there. He seems to be the clutch player, you know, uh, but it was awesome. Every single walk off, you seem to be part of it in some extent. Uh, do big situations excite you? Uh, I can't explain that because I just get the opportunity. I just try to do my job. So thanks God because I'm gonna, I, I am part of the, every walk off we made this year. Oh, you seems like you've been hitting the ball hard lately. How's it feel to be rewarded, you know, with, with some home runs, some good hits instead of hard outs? Yeah, I know, but we can do anything with that. But we just got a thing for the next at bat to try hit it hard again. The results, we can do anything. I really just try to get on base. I know we just need one run, so they need me on base. I got that pitch. I hit a homer. I just got to enjoy now. You just, this whole opportunity for you as a rookie, you know, this opportunity and you're really kind of seizing it. How are you looking at what the Marlins have given you? I really going to be 100% every day. Every day they give me opportunity. I want to go there to play hard. If I play hard, I know I'm going to get another opportunity at the next day. Yeah, obviously good to finish that one. You know, um, get the lead late. I, you know, kind of going all the way back. You know, Duggar throws a great game. You know, gets us right where we need to be early with our bullpen. Um, you know, then we give up the run there, but you know, guys kind of hung in there. We got good innings after that. Kinley, and then obviously Harold. I think it's the second one, right? You know, walk off a couple of last, maybe last time Sandy ended. So uh, it was good to see. And just him and the, his nap, I mean, he had two off of home runs, he had a sack fly one, he was part of Prado, it was just his nap in the big situations. So. Start leaving on the bench until the walk-off <laughs> time. No. Uh, you know, Harold, Harold can hit, and Harold's working on some things and, and kind of showing, getting an opportunity. So it's, it's nice to see, uh, you know, see the success, but he's continuing to work, and he knows he's got certain areas, he has trouble getting the ball, and he continues to work, and... You know, so you, uh, we're going to find out. What's the biggest difference in Robert Duggar tonight from the Robert Duggar you saw a few weeks ago? Uh, you know, you can't, it's hard for me to tell, honestly. I don't, you don't see pitching that way, but I think, uh, you know, a little bit more confident and I think a little bit more on the roll. Uh, I think we talked about it. He had a couple of really good outings uh, in AAA that they were really happy with. Just a little small adjustment, slowing him down over the rubber. Um, and I think it just allows all his pitches to work the right way and him to have better command. Uh, so, you know, last time he came up, <clears throat> he wasn't really pitching that good. He has, it fell on his day. It was the right guy at the right time. Uh, and 
and this time he's been throwing the ball better, so you kind of come up feeling better about yourself. When that, obviously, you have the unfair uh, uh, field and the home run, but then after that, he responds. He retires 16 and next 17. What do you think the way he kind of responded from that and just really got rolling? No, he did the ball good all night. Uh, obviously, the, the bottle when you lose going to make that play 99 out of 100 times, if not you know, more than that. Um, you know, and then just leaves a breaking ball there for Aquino again. You know, pitch is a kind of the wrong pitch, uh, but, you know, left it on the plate. And after that, he just kind of hung in there and, and, and stayed with his game plan. With the 13 pitch at bat with the place he is in the seven, just to cap it off and to show the resiliency at the end, going one bad pitch here or there, and that, and that could have swung the game. Swung no, the game that was there. huge. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, really kind of got us right where we wanted, like I said, got us right where we wanted to be in the bullpen, uh, in the right spot in their order where we wanted to use Harlan. Um, you know, I think I think it shows a lot, you know, continuing, you know, a lot of fastballs in that that sequence there with, with Iglesias. He kind of puts the ball in play. He's breaking ball. I mean, he's been putting the ball in play on us with two strikes the whole series. Uh, so a lot of fastballs there and then kind of finished him after... We knew they were going to be running and went ahead and went with a breaking ball there. I didn't even kind of swing mode. You're a little bit at the end with uh, Bragan and Kim finishing out. Yeah, I think obviously the double play by, with, with Votto there was huge. You know, started off a little rough uh, in that inning, but we get the double play ball and then has to get Suarez. Um, and then Tyler giving us two innings was, was huge. Yeah, and obviously, you know, you're looking for these type of moments from, from the Duggars, the Kinleys, from Harold, you know, obviously, right? You know, as, as you go. Yeah, anytime trip. we can get a win right now, it feels good, right? And, um, but you're right. And, you know, guys get to, you know, experience that. Uh, you know, Harold's been here for a while now, but uh, Robert is a little different situation because we get a, a decent look at him, you know, this last month. Um, and to see what it see what it is, you know, because he's going to be, you know, we talk about competition, so it's, there's going to be a competition for for spots, and you know, he's going to try to stake his claim, I guess.